Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jam and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today, we're going to talk about what I think are the best of the best of 2024 so far. These are just my opinions and this is just for funsies, but I thought, what if you care? Maybe I could share it with you. And then there's the added bonus of at the end of the year when I have to pick and choose my favorite things and list them and whatever for 2024, this will help me. So hopefully you're into this. If you are, you're not subscribed, you totally should. All right, I'm not gonna yammer too much. We're gonna get right into all the details. This is only makeup -y bits. Every day I do my skincare when I get ready for the day. And then I come in and I start filming and playing YouTuber. So this is not my skincare stuff. This is just makeups. And I did film some B-roll. I thought I could insert it here in case you want to see the application of these things. So let's start with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. I have really been enjoying this a lot. It does say it's a mattifying and priming face serum. I do think it's a lovely priming serum. I don't think it does a whole lot for oil control. I've tried it on its own. I've tried it combined with other things that I use for oil control. On its own, it's not enough for me. I mean, if you were like slightly oily, it would be nice, but I enjoy the serum as a prep for my makeup, as a primer. It, goes on really nice. It feels really nice. I wear it under my eyes. I can wear it all over my face and it's lovely. I really, really enjoy having that. And I put it on every time I do my makeup. I really like it. It doesn't take a whole lot. It's just lovely. When I'm not filming it, I just like drip it on my face because it's easier than getting it all over my hands. But <laughs> for the purposes of demonstrating to you, I put it in my hand first. The next step, and definitely I would say if you're oily, these next two items are not must have, one of them I think is a must have, but these are both really, really helpful in helping your makeup wear longer and keeping your oils under control. First is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now this is, the, this did not come out this year and a lot of these products won't have been things that come out this year. These are all the things that I've been reaching for on the reg. Before I go in with uh, the next product foundation, anything else, I spray my face with this. I don't know how familiar you, are, familiar you are with Robert Welsh, but he swears that setting sprays really only make a difference under your makeup. And I think he is almost entirely right, though I do think there is one exception to that and I'll tell you in a minute um but this under makeup helps it last so long it's so so nice I definitely don't put that on if I'm wearing mostly only powder foundation because I go in with you know powder products and a uh, finishing powder and it just ends up like all of the moisture out of my face so you know, that's good if you're putting on other things that are mm, wet or moisturizing, but not just powder, unless you are super, super, super oily. And then I say, go for it, give it a whirl, see what you think. But next and most importantly is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Powder Balm thingy. I have been through so many of these. I'm lost track. I really, really wish this white part was like refillable or like a, a little insert that you could reuse these because these are nice like containers but I just have to keep getting rid of them because I I go through this I love this on my t-zone it does everything to keep my oils under control all day long I can wear this as a foundation or as a primer. I've used shades uh, universal up to four 
as primer, as foundation. It's really nice. It is a super light coverage foundation. If you're using it for foundation and the way I put it on in the clip is definitely my most recommended or with a velour puff, but you, it does leave the velour puff feeling kind of hard and oogie. So you really kind of want to wash it immediately or, you know, I switch corners on a triangle one and do it that way, but then I have to wash it because it does it leave like a, a hardened schmutzy bit behind. Um, but as a primer, this is excellent. And I've tried applying it all the ways they suggested. And my favorite is pressing it in with my finger or a velour puff. Sometimes I get the urge to rub, 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 or swipe it, and that is not the answer, at least not for me. It is definitely all about pressing it in and just like leaving it. And it just looks so good. I mean, I won't get oily all day today because I've used all of these things to prep for my foundation, which I will tell you about right now. I was going to choose one and then I thought, I really like both of these so much and I think they're super duper similar. So that could be all my imagination. I don't know. But on my left side, I have the KVD Good Apple Foundation. I love this foundation. It looks nice. It can be built up to be super full coverage. It can be worn with a damp sponge or applied with a damp sponge and worn a bit more sheer and it just looks lovely. I really, really like it. Which brings me to this brand new one. And I mean, it is brand new, but so good. It is 100% the best of 2024. It's the new e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. This is amazing. I love the squeezy tube. I hate a tube with a pump. I hate pumps are hard to pump because, you know, crippled. I love this foundation. I think it looks so nice on my skin. I happened to see Robert Welsh's review of it yesterday and I took issue with his video because he didn't use any of the products with it which is fine, but then he went on to say, it's not a good foundation if you're oily, but you always use other products with it. So why wouldn't you do it both ways? So I was a little bit bummed about that. Cause I really, I mean, I feel like he knows what he's talking about and he is a professional, um, but I think he's wrong. And though I'm only oily in my T-zone for the most part, the rest of my face, will certainly get oily, but it takes a bit more. It's mostly my T-zone and I can wear that foundation and it's fine. So Robert's wrong. And I learned these prep steps from him and the powdering and all the things. So yeah, you tell him I said he's wrong. He can sit there in his wrongness and be wrong. <laughs> all right, concealers again, same situation. On my left eye, I have the KVD uh, Good Apple Serum Concealer. Did I say foundation or concealer? Concealer. I love this. I think it's great. I also think the Wet n Wild Incognito is so super similar. And that's all on my right eye. They look so similar. On the formula feels super similar. They're so similar. I have to repurchase the Wet n Wild one and I'm going to and not repurchase the KVD. How can I spend that kind of money when I know for a fact that the Wet n Wild looks and acts the exact same as the KVD on me? If you have a different experience, then you know by all means, that's what happened for you. But for me, specifically because I can't know how makeup wears on your face. It's, it's your face. But these really just 
end up working so well. I didn't pick a powder. I've been using the Too Faced powder and the e.l.f. like pink powder. They're fine. I think for the most part a powder is a powder is a powder. I haven't noticed any significant differences. Uh, I will say if I am going to be gone for a long time and I cannot have any issues with my makeups, I'll use my Nikia Joy one. But other than that, I really do think most of the powders are kind of created equal these days. Okay, contour. I don't think you're going to be surprised. I chose the Sephora contour. This is in the shade 02 light to medium. I love this. This, in my opinion, is as good as the Kevin Aqua. I will not repurchase the Kevin Aqua when it's all gone because this is so good. Now you watch because I love it so much. Sephora will discontinue it, but it's a great contour powder for me. I absolutely love this. I don't use a lot, but what I do use and how I use it, it's fantastic. Okay, unsurprisingly, the bronzers I chose today are the NYX ones. I'm wearing both of them. I have Mm. Butter Cup in O1 is the O1 and Deserve Butter, which is three. I love these. I also really love the L'Oreal ones. But I wanted to, you know, limit this to something remotely reasonable. But best of the best. My final list, I think we'll see both the NYX and the L'Oreal. I, I really like them both. I reach for them almost equally. I love the L'Oreal ones too. See, this is what happens. They're both so flipping good. Yeah. Blush. I have one, slightly surprising one, but I didn't want to leave it out because it is so, so good. It's the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blushes. These are amazing. I'm wearing this pink one today. They're so good. They blend out really easy. My face was already powdered. My contour and bronzer were on and it still blends out beautifully. It's fantastic. There's nothing scary about that liquid blush. It is nothing like the rare beauty ones where you put the teeniest tiniest little bit on and boom, you're blending and going for days and hoping that it blends out before it dries down. These are just really nice. I really like them. And they're elf, like, come on, really? Okay, but the other, the powder blushes, again, the L'Oreal ones would have made the list. The Essence ones would have made the list. But I'm choosing to, from NYX, I have been loving these. So I'm wearing the shade 01, my butter half, which is the cool pink, uh, kind of like all over on top of the e.l.f. liquid blush. And then I went in with the 07 Butter With Time Vivid Watermelon, um, predominantly like in the center. And I just, I love these. I love them with my whole heart. They are fun. They are super duper pigmented, but they blend out so easily. They just, they're just lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Can't get enough of them, but I suspect you knew that. For the buffing powder that I chose, I'm going with the Sephora uh, Micro Smooth Powder. I have two of these. So this is the one I bought for, you know, like this winter when I got super pale. It's fantastic. Everything just looks polished and lovely. It's so good. And last but not least, again, there could have been a couple contenders, but I had to go with the new L'Oreal highlighters. I really, really like both of them. This one came broken. Um, but it's lovely wearing it today. I applied it initially 
on one cheek and then I used the other shade on the other and then I mixed them together to get what I've got going on now. This one doesn't seem to be as like sparkly, but it's very, very pretty. Whereas the uh, Champagne Glow is a bit more sparkly and lovely and I just cannot get enough of these. So yeah, that is it. These are the products that make best of the best of 2024 so far. I'm scared that NYX is going to come out with the most amazing highlighters. I'm going to have to have them all. It's like Pokemon up in here with the NYX products. <laughs> I figure we'll talk eye products when we talk about eyeshadow palettes so far. But that's going to be a separate video because I don't want to be droning on and on and on uh, and bore you to tears. So the last thing I did want to mention is the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. This is fantastic for a finishing spray. Once all of your powders are on, everything's the way you want it. You just give this a little mist all over your face and it helps the powders just kind of settle and everything just looks a little bit more like your skin. So uh, this is the one thing I think, aside from the e.l.f. foundation, Robert wasn't quite right about because this does help if you like a lot of powder products, but don't want that like super powdery look. So that's it, that's everything. I'm super excited to hear what your favorites have been or what you think is the best of 2024 so far. I wonder how many things we'll have in common and how many things you're gonna make me wanna try. <laughs> okay, hopefully you liked this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.